Hello scholars, welcome back to the Chong channel. So right now we're gonna look at a quadratic word problem, but this time we're dealing with graphs. So we actually, before we begin, I just wanna go over some vocabulary words. So quadratic is anything with a variable squared, like x squared. Now, the graph of a quadratic is in the shape of a U shape. Quadratics are always in the shape of a U shape graph. And we call this U-shaped graph a parabola. Now, when we're talking about word problems dealing with a ball, for example. So if a ball is thrown up in the air, it goes, oops. So if a ball is thrown up in the air, it goes up and then due to gravity, it, re it, it eventually reaches back down. So once again, when a ball is thrown up in the air, eventually due to gravity, it drops. Okay, so anytime we're dealing with a word problem, dealing with like a ball thrown in the air or something is thrown in the air, it's always an up do upside down U-shaped graph or an upside down parabola. Now, parabolas can be upside down or like that. Okay, so quick review on vocabulary. This point here, we call it the vertex, okay? So the vertex is the turning point. So like I was saying before, when the ball was down here, it reached up and then from here went down. So this is the turning point from up to going down. So this is going down to going up. Okay, so the vertex is a turning point and it's either going to be a maximum or a minimum. Now we're focused today on a ball thrown in the air. So let's focus on maximum. So what is maximum? So as you see here, it is on the highest point. Now let's look at this word problem here. It says the graph below represents the parabolic path of a ball kicked by a young child. So once again, when a ball is thrown in the air, it was starting from the ground, then it reached up, and then due to gravity, it goes back down again. So now let's look here. It says, what are the vertex? So vertex is also the turning point. Okay, what are the vertex? And the axis is symmetry. So let's go over that vocabulary word. Axis of symmetry, in that word, you hear axis. An axis, an axe is something that cuts it in half. So the axis of symmetry is the line that cuts the parabola in half. Okay? So if I were to cut this parabola in half, does everybody see that it's going through a specific axis? Which axis do I cross to draw that line of axis of symmetry? I cross the x-axis. So if you cross the x-axis, your equation of that axis of symmetry is x equals. So just a quick review, axis of symmetry, x equals. All right, so let's go back to the problem. So here, ball went up. Then it reached the turning point, or which we call the vertex. And specifically, the vertex here is actually the maximum because it reached the highest point. And then eventually it started going down. Okay, so what is the vertex here? One, two, three, three, comma, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's three, comma, eight. So when we look at the multiple choices, three and four don't match. So we eliminate those. Next part. So once again, axis of symmetry is the line that we draw to cut that parabola in half. And so which axis did we cross to do that? It's x equals three. And so it is choice one. Okay, I hope that helped. Bye-bye.